So if you changed nothing about your PC, but just the graphic card, like if you upgraded that by one generation, so you went from a 3070 to a 4070 Ti, would that make a difference to your video editing experience? Let's find out. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll take my 3070 and I'm going to swap it with this 4070 Ti. Yeah, it looks big, but that's the only change that I'm making to my entire PC rig. So currently my PC rig is older 10 Gen Core i7 10700K with 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM and a Sabrent 2TB SSD. Also, I only work with 422 10-bit 4K files, so they're generally heavy. So just something to keep in mind. And yeah, let's see if the 4070 Ti is able to make a difference. Let's find out. So let's talk real-time playback, which is what you really depend on the most when you're editing in Premiere Pro. The 4070 Ti, it clearly performed better than 3070 in all situations. The 3070 was choppy, especially with multi-layer editing and with heavy graphics. The 4070 Ti actually got a bit of relief to my editing process. At least it played, even if it was laggy. The story changed when it came to rendering or exporting videos in Premiere Pro. 3070 was faster across all and this is probably because of better memory bus on the 3070 but again I would really prefer faster real-time playback over faster exports because I just really export once and I'm done. And let's talk after effects. Things flipped around. Real-time playback was actually slightly better with the 3070 except for when graphics came in where the 4070 Ti helped a bit. But in case of multi-layer and heavy graphics, nothing helped. And in terms of export, the 4070 Ti did better all across. So here are my takeaways. If you're a Premiere Pro user, then there is definitely an improvement in real-time playback speeds. I mean, not so much in terms of render speeds or export speeds, but think about it this way. If you're editing all day long, then that little bit of time that you save in real-time playback, over a period of time, through the day, it compounds and can save you quite a bit of time and frustration. Also, the 4070 Ti, it tends to remain slightly cooler than the 3070. I mean, part of the reason is that it's got a reasonably efficient chip that's built on the 4 nanometer tech. And also, it's got three big fans as opposed to the two fans that I had on the 3070. Third, depending on which software you use more of, the 4070 Ti's performance and its impact will vary. Because, you know, all of these software, they use your hardware very differently. And lastly, and something to be careful about, that even with the 4070 Ti, I could not work with, you know, layers of 4K videos. And that actually has nothing much to do with whether I was using 3070 or the 4070 Ti. It's actually three other things that matter more. First, my CPU is definitely a bottleneck because, you know, it's an old 10700K. So it's like 10 gen back three years back. The other thing is, although this one does have 12 gigabytes of VRAM, it's often less, you know, it's recommended to have 16 gigs of VRAM if you want to work with multiple layers of 4K. And third, and kind of realize it's an important one, is that I still don't have a RAID configuration uh, to really speed up multi-layer 4K video editing. So that's something that's next on my list. So did the 4070 Ti really help me over the 3070? Not really, not with video editing for sure. I mean, if you're just about sailing through with your video editing process with your current GPU, I suggest you stick to that and not upgrade to the immediate next version. Instead, you save that money and you could probably invest into, you know, getting a newer motherboard, a stronger, faster processor, and probably the faster DDR5 RAM. And that money that you spend is going to get you a significant upgrade in terms of performance than just bumping up your GPU to the immediate next generation. But sure, if you are on a 20 series card or a card prior to that, then definitely the 40 series card is going to help you because that's a significant performance upgrade. But here's the truth. If you are handing out GPUs to me, and if currently I am on 3070, I'll be more than happy to take the 4070 Ti just because it makes my editing process slightly faster. It just helps me save a little bit more time. And all of that together, as I said, when you compound it through the day of your editing workflow, it could mean a lot. So yeah, those are my two cents on whether you should go for an immediate upgrade to the next gen GPU. And if I were you, I would actually save that money and use it to upgrade my RAM, my motherboard and my CPU, which is what I'm actually thinking of doing. And then probably get myself the 50 series GPU if they're available, affordable. So yeah, I'll go for that then. All right, thanks for watching guys. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And as always, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.